Hello and welcome to Lippy Frog. If you like nail polish and makeup and that sort of thing, then this is a video for you. I did a small order to Cosmetic for Less. It's, um, it's an online sort of beauty store in Germany for two reasons. Number one reason is this. <laughs> um, uh, I follow uh, this gorgeous Dutch girl, Femke, and if I am pronouncing your name wrong, please do tell me because I <laughs> I don't want to be saying it wrong. Uh, anyway, I'll put her link down below. She had this polish on and I just, I was like, what, what is that? I need that polish. And I probably have similar shades to this because this is my, this is my kind of pink. I just love it, but I can't, I can't help myself. <laughs> anyway, so this is Catrice and it is number 48 all's well that ends pink and look look at it i mean look at it oh my goodness let's let's give it a wee swatch i have not tried this yet so this will be ah. whoa oh that's a nice that is a nice formula that is really nice. It'll definitely need a second coat, but I don't think it'll need a third. Look at that shimmer. Is that not an absolutely gorgeous pink? That is just so my kind of polish. So uh, thank you, Kit. Thank you, Femke, for um, showing me which one it is so I could get the exact one that she had. Uh, yeah, I don't have her fabulous long nails, but Hopefully it'll look cute on me too. So yeah, this is only my second Catrice, I think, ever. Anyway, the, the second reason I order from Cosmetic for Less is for this. I am a little bit sensitive to latex and um, I was just watching one of Femke's videos and she really recommended this as an alternative to latex and it, apparently it smells nice too so this is essence peel off barrier i have not tried it yet but if you want me to review it or anything do let me know and i don't i can't believe i'm sniffing this it actually smells really nice it smells like shower gel that is so weird but anyway she said if you can find this somewhere, grab a couple because it's so good. So I, I trust this girl implicitly. <laughs> She's got fantastic taste and um, yeah. So I did, I did it. She did as she suggested. Oh my goodness, that's a tongue twister. So I got two of them too. And that, that was just my small order. The shipping isn't too bad. Um, Honestly, I would recommend buying more than what I did to make use of the, the shipping. But I actually got a free mascara. So that's cool. Um, I think it's got rose in it. So I'm actually keen to try that. And I like, I like that shape of a wand that goes, tapers small. So you can get into those wee corner lashes, because my corner lashes are a real bother. So it's got, it's actually got rose flower extract. Wow. Anyway, so I thought that was nice, getting an extra like that. Okay, so that was my little haul. The, the other, everything else I think is from Essence. I have to show you today. And um, this was, all of the Essence products were gifts from a German friend of mine. Um, oh, I'm running out of battery. Hang on. Stay there. Stay there, people. I'm plugging you in. Right, so I recorded a whole bunch and it took me ages to realise that it was not recording. So let this be a lesson to us all. If you're recording on your phone and you plug it in to be charged, it will suddenly stop recording for no reason at all. So I'm going to have to show these things again. 
Okay, so um, this is my first essence stamping plate. I think this one's called Girl Power. Girl Power! And it's just really, really cute. It's got little cactus and a sakura blossom. Look at the cool pineapple. That is hilarious. A little feather. <clears throat> that is so cute. Um, I've seen Femka and Mrs. Cronall. I've seen both of them use essence stamping plates. And they look like good quality, so... Yay! Uh, my friend also sent me these nail stickers and it's a similar sort of style to that stamping plate. It's sort of little funky, little funky stickers. Look at the llama! <laughs> oh, so cute. And she sent me two of them, so like, I'm, I'm gonna have plenty to play with. And um, also these body tattoos in uh, Doodle Bomb. And these look really, really fun. I haven't had body tattoos since uh, since I was a little girl, I think. I love the light bulb. And this bishop. I love that feather. It's giving me Ravenclaw ideas. So that is really, really fun. Right. Now let me show you the three polishes. Okay, this is the first time I've had any of these ones with the little faces on them. I'm pretty sure Nika from Nika's Naughty Nails, I'm pretty sure she is shown some of these um anywho this one is 114 my highlighter and look at the shimmer in there i've already done one coat because and it's actually pretty opaque on the first coat i don't even know if it's properly dry yet but the formula Okay, I'm swatching out of shot. Well well done, Libby, well done. Definitely fully opaque. Two easy coats. That is incredible. And to have that sort of highlighter yellow, but with a gorgeous warm shimmer through it, that just, that is lovely. That is so lovely. Me likey. Let's try this one now. It's also got shimmer in it. I do like my shimmers. This is 113 Fairy Tale Gone Pink. Oh, same, same lovely formula. Wow, is that, is that opaque? Don't tell me that's opaque in one. That is a gorgeous shade. Oh, I like it very much. I really do. And uh, the third one is 112 Flamingold. <laughs> I don't know what... It's like a antique gold, I suppose. I don't know what that has got to do with flamingos, but sure. It's very slightly thinner formula than the, the thinner than the other two, but that looks pretty opaque. It might need a second just to deepen it a bit. And look at me getting it on my fingers. Wow, well done. That is absolutely gorgeous as well. That's far nicer in the nail than I thought it was going to be. Ooh. Now that I've made a mess with the. Uh, a happy mess with those three. I'm going to do a second coat on this Catrice because I think we I think we need to see it. 
We really, really do. Yep, I am. I am in love. That is. That is. That is so my jam. I might have to do a loopy doops because I'm quite sure I've got a couple like this <laughs> already. But I don't care. I love it. <laughs> What else? She sent me two lip products. Um, this one is Kiss the Unicorn Lipstick. As you can see, it is whoa, like whoa. I'm not going to swatch this because, um, look, at the, look at the glitters in there. I need to check if it's got lanolin in it. I'm allergic to lanolin. Lanolin, so I, yeah. I just need to check online. But how cute is this lip balm? Oh, my little cuties. Kiss me. They're adorable. This has got a, yeah, this is called Amazing Kiss. And this one is called Turn to Rainbow Sparkle. Looks really cool though. Uh, this is cute little thing was in there. It's a uh, it's a pumice stone. And it's a a lollipop, which is just really, really, really cute. And one final thing I have to show you is this palette. Ah, uh, I've never had an essence palette before, so this is really cool. Too glam to give it um. Oh, it says eye and face. Okay. So I have had a pig, but I haven't tested these yet. So I wanted to share it with you guys. And uh, these are gorgeous. I'm guessing this might be the face part. Honestly, I would wear that as an eyeshadow though. It looks a bit too dark for my personal skin tone. But these, look at these shades, they look really nice. And hi, hi, how am I supposed to get this film off? Eee! Now we can see these beautiful mattes. I, I, okay, I gotta try the gold because I love gold eyeshadow like this. Whoa! That is really, really pretty. I would... Oh. I would say it needs a base. But that is gorgeous. Let's try the purple. Look at me going for my favourite colour. Oh. Oh. They're... I think you would have to pack these on, but they are really soft and blendable, so maybe that's a good thing. Uh, I I love highly pigmented eyeshadows, but sometimes ones like this are really really good for blending. You see how nice and softly that blends out. Yeah. Let's try this. Whoa. That is crazy. Ah. It's quite dark. But the, the sheen is really, really cool. I'm running out of fingers. Let's try them out. That's blending beautifully. Really, really soft. That would be a, a lovely crease shade. Well, I'm rather impressed. You do have to pack it on a wee bit, but that's okay. As long as it's buildable, that's fine by me. Hey. Well, I shall try it on my eyeballs. Not my eyeballs. Okay. <laughs> mm. I've got one digit left, my thumb. I have to try this one because. Oh, oh. 
get in frame you Oh, that is very pretty. That is really, really pretty. It's sort of shimmery. That's very, very pretty, actually. I gotta say, really impressed. Really impressed. I mean, you don't get um, I'm impressed at how, how blendable they are. Because often with cheaper brands, no offence to some cheaper brands, but often they can be a bit chalky and so not very blendable. But these definitely are. Very cool. Me lucky. Okay, so I hope you liked my little mostly essence and one Catrice haul. <laughs> and uh, thank you for watching, everybody. Bye.